Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, there hasn't been much of an intro. Well, this is the intro. There hasn't been much B-roll up until this point. That is mainly because I have been running across the beach because the light is happening. I was planning on photographing bluebells this evening, but bluebells is not happening um, because I think I'm a little bit late, or at least the area I've come to is a little bit late because the bracken has started to form and grow, which is a nightmare. And Pauline is on the rock. Hola. Hola, que tal? Hmm. Bonjour, ça va? Oui, et toi? Oui, et toi? Uh, oui. 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 Pretty damn good. Don't know how to say that in French. How do I say that in French? Pretty damn good. Or the equivalent? Oh, she is French though. I actually checked her uh, her ID one time. Anyway, look at this scene. I have got light on this side, light on this side, a crack of wildflowers leading into the Pap of Glencoe. Uh, let's get this captured. Let's get this party started. I have already taken a shot, but you know, light is getting stronger. It's getting stronger, it's getting better. I've got light on this side, balancing out the light on that side. So we're gonna go again, we're gonna go again. Unfortunately, my tripod is that low that you don't get the light on the right hand side. So I'm gonna raise my center column a little bit. And that looks nice. I've already focused on the pap, that being my focal point, and I'm gonna shoot this in a series of images because there is super high dynamic range between the light spot in the sky. This is the first shot, um, still blown out. So I'm gonna to go to one eight hundredth of a second. That is fast. Still a little bit blown out, that is incredible. 32 thousands of a second. There we go, nothing blown out in that one. Now I can raise my exposure from there. And I've already got the certain parts captured. So I'm gonna slowly just bring it up higher and higher and capture it again. And I'm only gonna do it by eye. The tripod's not changing, so I can be as rough as I want as long as I've got that two second timer, which I do. Um, and the final shot is this one just here for this rock to my right. And what I decided to go for with this rock onto my right is a crack leading in from the bottom right hand corner, flicking up into the Papo Glen. I like the contrast between the greys and the yellows that are on that rock. I feel like that complements what's happening everywhere else. A lot of the bank looks very yellow because of the light and the mountains look very blue because they're in the shade. And I feel like that complements it and it's working together really nicely. Dramatic skies, light, doesn't get much better. But I think we're gonna have a little wander. In fact, I'm gonna see if I can get another composition out of this point that we're at right now. I was having a little look at these flowers here and there's some cracks leading in and I've got the pap in the background, but they're very similar to what's already been captured. So I think what we're gonna do, we're gonna hop back in the car and have a little wander up, further up the, the lock and see if we can find something a little bit different. A little bit, not too different, nothing crazy, but a little bit different. But I really like the combination of these cracks leading in to the pap. Looks beautiful. Fingers crossed we can find something equally as good if not better. Mm -hmm. 
my show is done. <laughs> so we were photographing the pap, but light has gone and this woodland here caught my eye. What was she doing behind me? I feel like she was doing something behind me. If I go like this, <laughs> you'd tell me, you'd tell me. Um, but yeah, saw this woodland and thought, you know, it's quite pretty, isn't it? So, I don't know, I don't know. This is gonna be a bit of a random vlog, really. Um, and hopefully, I find something in here I want to photograph. Yeah, much, much, much later. Unfortunately, that was a bit of a dead end. Um, without light, the trees kind of all just blending together. They've got that spring glow about them now. And they look beautiful, don't get me wrong. But it's quite hard to get that separation. So we're going to wander on further down. Tonight is not over. The vlog is not over yet. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Second wood lucky. <sighs> the nice thing about this wood though, it's mixed. It's a mixed woodland. And there are bluebells. Look at these little guys. Look at them all. Like there's almost a shot right there of this old tree. Just stunning. Oh, Pauline, so many bluebells. I think my trail of thought got a little bit lost there, but there are options and fingers crossed, I'm gonna get some bluebells. By the moment, the clearing hasn't happened. It's raining again. So I walked through the woods for quite a while and we made our way up to a really quite a cool little spot, but we ended up coming back down to one of the first things I saw, which is normally the case, but you know, you've got to know before you know, but now I know. And one thing I have found is the midges are here. I am sat in a swarm of midges as we speak. So I'm gonna try and make this as fast as possible because they're swarming around me. Oh, I hate midges and I hope none of them have flown inside my camera. Oh, they're biting me. Okay, so my plan is simple. I have got a little tree that's growing out of a log and it's really quite pretty. Um, I'm gonna focus on the tree and then I'm gonna focus on the foreground and hopefully I'll be able to make them work together nicely. It's quite hard to get that separation. So the way I'm gonna do it is I'm gonna focus on that tree and then focus stack backwards. Um, hopefully creating a separation between the background and everything else. Oh, woodland photographer, they said. This'll be fun, they said. Ah. Oh. You people at home, you have no idea right now. So I've captured the tree. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna close my aperture. So I shot the tree on an F 2.8. Now I'm gonna go to F5 and I'm gonna work my way back towards my camera. So the background behind the tree is still gonna be out of focus, but everything in front of the tree, hopefully, is gonna be nice and sharp. And I hope at home you're sitting and watching this and feeling mine and Pauline's absolute agony because it really is. And all of this, so many of them, it's bloody miserable. Okay, so I've captured 
my free shots. One of the tree, one of the uh, closest to the tree, and then one of the uh, oh, the bluebells closest to me. The ones closest, closest, I've left a little bit out of focus. And the idea is, is to help draw your eye into that tree. But I am getting destroyed. So I'm going to try and get out of this wood as quick as possible. And I think that's going to be the end of the vlog. I know I only captured two images. Not a lot of B-roll. But just being out of that little bit. Oh. They got me so bad. I think that picture took me, what, five minutes to capture? No more than that. And they swarmed. That was horrendous, wasn't it? How was your experience? I wanna go home. Andrew wants to go home. Yesterday we did the Ring of Steel. Um, so, Seven named peaks, five Munros, four, four, five Munros. Um, so yeah, we're a bit tired. We're a bit tired, but we made it and we're out. We've captured two images. Life's good, apart from the midge. Um, so if that is all from me this week and Pauline, we'd like to say goodbye. That was horrendous. Right, anyway. Peace out, peeps. Maybe. Maybe. Thank you.